I cancelled my endowment plans. That's eight years ago. Uh, hi everyone, uh, my name is Min An. I am a rich investor who builds my parents' retirement portfolio via REITs. So today is uh, 24th October and I wanted to clean up my cupboard and I chance upon this. So inside is actually uh, an endowment plan that my mom uh, bought for myself and my brother since 1996. So that's like 26 years ago. Of course, at the point of time of recording, we would have uh, received the maturity benefits two years ago. So this is like a 25 year plan. So uh, since my mom paid for it and back then, um, I guess it's the level of uh, financial literacy education that she received when she bought this insurance for my brother and myself. Uh, definitely she has her own reasons why. Uh, but. Based on this, on hindsight, um, I guess my approach to whether you can cancel or you shouldn't cancel your plan, at this part, please practice, practice independent thinking because when I did my cancellation, uh, I did do the sums. Always review my initial reason of buying the plan. So, of course, first thing is to even ask our parents, hey, did they buy anything? Or maybe just check what are the outflows from the bank accounts, right? Uh, so review your initial reason, their initial reason of buying. Uh, and second, very important thing is uh, because this plan, um, which is in front of me right now, of course, uh, I understand the terms inside this insurance. So in this video, I only can just generalize, but I want to bring across to you that uh, please go review the terms that's inside this insurance. Then the next thing will be that after reviewing, then it will be a pit stop, right? Because uh, definitely uh, that I have to thought, thought A uh, is that I don't put fresh funds uh, into something, into an insurance that I don't need, okay? Uh, the second one will be, uh, which is the more radical approach, which is to cancel and, but you need to calculate your opportunity cost, which is what I've done task that led me to cancel my, these two endowment plans that my mom paid uh, eight years ago yeah we cancelled in 2014 then moving forward is okay why did i decided to cancel was uh, of course of the opportunity cost like i mentioned previously in the pit stop segment uh, i back then i already started educating myself on how to uh, buy uh, businesses via the stock market which gives uh, which is supposedly supposed to give a better return right so education educate myself that's very important or in fact the other areas would be I'm not sure if it's gonna be sound surprising but it's actually to review other uh, insurance categories for example be it whether a disability insurance uh, or a critical illness or a hospitalization plan you know uh, so that is actually why I pen down because this is version 2 uh, this version 2 is meant to get my thoughts in order and articulate them better did I cancel my endowment plan or perhaps I should I say did I um, regret cancelling this endowment plan eight years ago uh, personally myself I said no because uh, I went to educate myself about other uh, financial instruments uh, namely uh, value investing or invest in the stock market and I saw this booklet hiding inside my cupboard I felt I needed to document down this video so that for you who's watching or, or somehow you landed in your YouTube feeds uh, just want to share with you that uh, what's my dream What's my thought process? And if it could help you uh, make a better decision, I hope it has, done, uh, it, it has helped you. Or if you feel that, uh, if you want to ask a question, uh, you can put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to give an answer. But take note, 
very key important thing, practice and mentally thinking and I am not a financial advisor. I'm here to share my experience.